always felt God was watching and I was going to be accountable to Him for the things that I did. And I never felt as if my response to all of that damage and destruction was to create more damage and destruction. I didn't think, and I don't think now, <clears throat> that I could stand in front of God and say, I did all of this damage and destruction because of what happened to me. He wouldn't accept that as an answer from me. I, I wouldn't be justified in taking uh, and creating um, a, that repeating that, that life as a result. And, and I don't think that you can. I don't think that you can say, well, because of what I, because I do this because of what happened to me. And fundamentally the question, uh, and I think one of the, the critical questions um, of life is, is that it's often it's far less about what you inherit. It's a lot more about what you build. That's ultimately what we're measured by, by what we build. And you can inherit a lot of things, but that's what you are. You're an inheritor of something. You didn't necessarily create it. I didn't create the circumstances. I didn't author the circumstances that I came from. But I knew it was my responsibility to change it. And I wanted that responsibility. I never shirked from it. I, and I felt the responsibility to change the arc in this pattern and the cycle as I learned about my parents, they too were inheritors of something, of, of dysfunction, and they couldn't and didn't break it. And as a result, I paid a price for that um, from both of them. Uh, but I decided early on, and I decided long before I knew who they were, that I was going to stop it, that what I inherited was not to be repeated, but I also felt that I was strong enough to stop it uh, as well. It was a responsibility that I wanted that I thought I was strong enough to handle.